Daisy has once again dropped another update, update 1.22. While this update did have a light amount of content, it did mainly focus on bug fixes. In this video, you're going to be seeing all the content and the optimizations they did to the vanilla launcher, alongside 33 visual and sound bugs that we were able to reproduce in the game. Keep your eyes peeled because inside of these bugs is going to be some bonus content given to us by the legendary scale spitter. I hope you enjoy. Hip bag party version. Hip bag medical version. Hip bag green version. Duffel bag medical version. Duffel bag green version. Duffel bag camo version. Medical canvas bag. Green canvas bag. Gray sling bag. Brown sling bag. Black sling bag. Green pouch. Black pouch. Beige pouch. Army pouch. Improvised yellow dry sack. Improvised orange dry sack. Improvised green dry sack. New white variant of wool gloves. Upon launch of the launcher, the server tabs refresh and all server tabs refresh simultaneously at the same time. Furthermore, the filter button has been highlighted red and the SG play button has been removed permanently from the launcher. Outside of the launcher being booted up, you must refresh your server tabs manually. They will no longer be automatic. Direct Connect now allows you to favorite the server you're connecting to and when you do connect to the server, it'll open up a mod manager window for you. A DLC window has been added to the main menu. They removed the player slots column from the browser and have unobfuscated player numbers to show the exact player number count on a server. Gas canisters in the world no longer spawn full in vanilla. Camping gas cylinders in Daisy no longer also spawn full. Camping gas cylinders you find around the world have had their weight reduced overall. Power generators no longer spawn full of fuel. Large animals have a geometry that now clashes with the player, preventing you from easily going through them. New animation and sound for the heatback. Contest winners billboards are now in the world. Car horns were not played when started outside of another player's network bubble. Fixed a cause of the character and creature's movement, giving the perception of micro stutters at inconsistent but reliably high frame rate. Throwing an item into rivers, ponds, lakes would not produce a splash down in deep water. Throwing an item into water would incorrectly play the sound at the bed of the water. The character was unable to enter some building entrances that were slightly above ground level. Players dying underwater would not float up to the surface. AI were unable to enter the Lavonia bunker. AI would not register open doors of the surface. Hey. Player shot from a player gun would produce a continuous sound when stuck in objects. The clerk's infected looked too dark. Road flares would continue to burn for up to a minute even after reaching their ruin state. Witch's Hood Koi. Red, gray, and brown. Thank you for Scale Spear for pointing this out. Mining a rock with smaller tools did not play sounds. Destroyed field pumps would still yield gasoline. Washing hands with a water ball did not have sounds. Certain can opening actions did not have sounds. Camera was glitching when attempting to switch to prone in deep water. Bolts would get stuck in water.
crossbow bolts did not reflect their damage states correctly. It was not possible to shave while wearing the carnival mask. After removing a burlap side from a player's head, their head could cut through the headgear. The red dot on the RV and Epic was not aligned with the center of the screen. If the dead body was scanned and quartered, bolts stuck in it would disappear. Fix several building issues and item widgets stay on the screen for the duration of the hold actions. Crossbow did not have sounds when used in pro. Crossbow did not have sounds when dry shooting indoors. The reload sound of the crossbow was more quiet while moving. Prison doors play the wrong sounds. The reticle on the ATOC 6x40 optic was blurry on low graphics settings. It was possible to collapse the hand slot container in the inventory. And last but certainly not least, they did update the end credits to include new staff members and people who contributed to the creation of Daisy. Thank you for coming by, and don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to check out Yarl of Goats on Twitch when he is live, and Red Falcon and his amazing work in the Daisy community. Without these two, the show would not be the same. I hope you all have a wonderful day.